Hello, and thank you for watching this gene marker webinar. My name is Adam Dillman, and I am a biologist at Soft Genetics. Today I'm going to be talking about fragile X analysis using GeneMarker. This is a brand new application that's being released with GeneMarker version 2.6. This is an advanced application in GeneMarker, so if you haven't yet seen the introductory webinar, I encourage you to go back and watch that video first, and then proceed with this webinar. The Fragile X analysis application in GeneMarker automatically calculates the triplet repeat number for each sample, and if applicable, the methylation status. The application is built directly into the program, allowing the user to proceed from raw data, to process data, to results, without any data transfer. Consequently, the analysis is faster and less error-prone compared to traditional, manual approaches. The Fragile X analysis application is compatible with Assurgen kits, other commercial kits, and custom chemistries. Finally, both single and double dye projects are supported. So now let's just jump right into a sample single dye project. Uh, again though, I'd like to emphasize that the Fragile X analysis application is exclusive to GeneMarker version 2.6, uh, which I'm using here. Uh, to get started, I'll just import my data files by going to File, Open Data, click Add, and then just navigate to your sample files. A useful shortcut here is uh, Control A to select all your files, uh, and then just click Open and OK. Now we're looking at the raw data. Just to review, recall that you can open multiple sample files by just double clicking on them. You can zoom in by drawing a box from left to right, and you can zoom out by drawing a box from right to left. When you're ready to process your samples, you can just click on this green triangle icon or you can go to Project Run. This will open the Run Wizard, which uh, you can see has three pages of settings in it. You can choose your panel, size, standard, standard color, and analysis type here. Uh, and actually, if you use the same settings quite frequently, you can save them as a template. You just have to give the template a name and then click Save. Uh, and you will see that uh, your settings will appear as a template here to the left. So you can see I have multiple templates for different analyses. Uh, I have one for Fragile X, MLPA, and so on. So actually when I choose to process my samples, I can simply click my Fragile X template in which all my settings are saved, and then click Next, Next, and OK. So now you can see the process data. You can see here, for example, that this is a, a control sample, and I have clearly my six control peaks here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, above I have just a, 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 an experimental sample. And you'll notice in, in these samples we're seeing a very common artifact that's typical of uh, Fragile X chemistries, this sort of peak structure right here. Uh, GeneMarker actually provides a very easy way to eliminate these peaks. Uh, you can simply hold the control key and then drag your mouse over these peaks to highlight them all. And then you can simply right click and select delete to delete them all. So very quickly, I'm just going to go through and repeat this for the rest of my samples. So I've now gone through and uh, eliminated those artifact peaks from my samples, and I'm ready to proceed to Fragile X Analysis. To do this, I can just go to Applications, Fragile X Analysis. This will open the Fragile X Analysis Settings window. The first thing to note about this uh, Settings window is that it will automatically import the previously used settings. So for example, these are the expected repeats and corresponding sizes that I used for my calibration in the previous uh, project that I was using, uh, and they were just imported directly into the settings window. If I wanted to use them again, I could do that, or if I wanted to choose a new control sample, um, I could just select that from the drop-down menu and update my calibration. As I mentioned earlier, this is a single die project for my analysis type. So for my analysis type, I have single die selected. My control channel you can clearly see is blue. Um, up above, you can give a cutoff for each genotype range, normal, intermediate, permutation, full mutation, etc. Below that, you can select which report sheets you'd like to include in the final report. And up here in the upper left, you can choose what sequencing platform you're, you're using. Um, basically, selecting one of these sequencing platforms provides a, a recommended saturation limit below. Um, however, if you're using a Beckman instrument or something else, you can always uh, go back and change this manually as well. So when you've made all of your settings, you can just click OK. And this will open the Fragile X Analysis window. 
Uh, it's very straightforward to interpret. Each sample is given its own row, and the results for each peak in that sample are summarized in the table. Uh, so here we can see the size, the RFU, and most importantly, the, uh, the CGG repeat number. Like other applications in GeneMarker, like MLPA or Trisomy, uh, this table is directly linked with the electropherogram. So you can simply you know, double click on a cell in the table, and you'll be taken to that location in the electropherogram. When you're ready to export your results, uh, you can simply right click on this table to copy it and paste it into, for example, an Excel spreadsheet or a text file or something like that. Um, you can also click this print icon to generate a print report. And this will bring up a preview of the different reporting options available. So the first report we can see here is the CGG repeat summary sheet. This just provides a, a brief uh, summary of each sample, uh, the allele ranges that were detected, and the CGG repeat number for each peak in that given sample. Uh, in the second report, we have the detailed results summary sheet. As you would expect, this gives a more detailed description for each run. Um, and this table is basically what was found underneath the electropherogram. So for each sample and each peak, we can see the CGG repeat number, uh, as well as the RFU. Finally, after these two summary sheets, we have uh, individualized reports for each sample. Uh, you can see that these reports include a detailed header with user and project information. Uh, you can see which user uh, printed the report. You can customize the report with uh, your institution name. There's also a validation box as well as um, the electropherogram and the relevant excerpt from the report table. These reports can be printed directly as a hard copy or they can be saved as uh, JPEG or PNG images uh, and bulk printing is supported as well. The Fragile X analysis application is compatible with single die and double die projects. So now I'd like to just show you an example of a double die project as well. Uh, we're now looking at process data, but to get to this point, um, just like earlier in the webinar, all I did was import my data and then go to the run wizard and select my template. In this case, I actually have a template for my double die projects, this MPCR template. So I was able to just simply select this template and then click next, next, and OK. Obviously, the major difference between uh, this project and the previous one is that I now have a second die channel. Specifically, I have the green dye channel, which is used to detect the methylation percentage. Again, when you're ready to proceed to Fragile X Analysis, you can simply navigate to Applications, Fragile X Analysis. As I mentioned previously, the Fragile X Analysis settings window will import your uh, most recently used settings. In this case, it was the single dye project that I just did. So all I have to do to modify this is, um, for my analysis type, I'll choose double dye instead of single dye. You can see that my same calibration is again imported into the into the settings window. So I can use the same calibration, or I could update it uh, with a control sample or with a with a text file. The only major difference between the settings between single die and double die is that I now have this methylation section. I have to choose my control channel, which again is blue, and this time my digested channel is green. I also need to inform the program. Uh, which of my markers correspond to the digestion control in each die, and which correspond to the reference control in each die. And you can see that in my samples, I've named these markers um, with the prefix dig, or D-I-G, for digestion control, and the prefix ref for reference control. So all you need to do is just select which marker corresponds to each of these categories. When you've made your selections again, you can just click OK. This will open the Fragile X Analysis window. The double die window is very similar to the single die window, except in this case each sample has an additional row uh, to include details about the, um, the methylation die channel, in this case the, the green die channel. And this time the table for each peak includes information uh, about the RFU, the size, the CGG repeat number, and the methylation percentage. And again you can simply double click on a cell to be taken to that location. Another useful feature is that peaks can be added directly within this application without having to return to the main analysis window. Uh, for example, if I'm scrolling through the electropherogram here and I notice a peak, such as this one, that wasn't automatically called by the program because its morphology is quite regular, I can still add it manually by just right-clicking on it and selecting Insert Allele. 
when I do that you can see that the report table is automatically updated with this peak and now I can see the RFU for this peak the CGG repeat number uh, and the methylation percentage so it's an easy way to quickly update the table with with new peaks when you're ready to export your results again you can do so by just right clicking on the report table and selecting copy report uh, or you can click the print report icon to generate print reports the CGG repeat summary sheet is updated with the methylation percentage we also had a few more thresholds uh, for saturation cutoff digestion control methylation control things like that so there's additional flagging here as well the detailed results summary sheet is updated with the methylation percentage for each peak and the individual results sheets are updated to include the, in this case, green dye channel as well, your methylation dye channel. Uh, and the, the relevant excerpt of the report table also includes the methylation percentage for each peak as well. And again, these can be saved as, uh, as JPEGs or PNGs, uh, or they can be printed directly. So those are the basics of Fragile X analysis using GeneMarker. Again, this application is exclusive to GeneMarker version 2.6.0, so please keep watching to find out how you can get more information. In conclusion, Fragile X analysis using GeneMarker increases the speed of analysis while reducing errors. It eliminates unnecessary data transfers and automatically calculates the repeat number and methylation percentage for each sample. Finally, as we just saw, several digital and hard copy print report options are supported. Thank you for watching this GeneMarker webinar. For more information or for a free 30-day trial of GeneMarker and other Soft Genetics products, please visit softgenetics.com or email info at softgenetics.com. Please send any technical support questions to tech underscore support at softgenetics.com. Thank you for watching.